The other thing was the invention of the printing press, that the printing press helped these Renaissance artists, you know, during this era to allow them to have their work more sidely, you know, widely circulated among the people. So they became more famous, they became well known, people wanted them to do commissions for them. And they were able to earn, you know, better living than probably the artists who had gone before them because the printing press and they were able to be able to distribute things like they could not before. Hi, this is Anita with Five Minutes with Art. You know, one of the great periods of art, which is kind of known as the golden age of art, is the Renaissance. And there's a lot of reasons why the Renaissance is considered the golden age of art. First of all, it produced some of the greatest artists that ever lived. And you can't talk about the Renaissance with, without talking about these three great artists, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo da Vinci. In fact, each of these have produced art that is still considered some of the greatest art that's ever been produced. You know, Michelangelo um, produced, you know, the great state statue of David, the Sistine Chapel, which is considered to be, you know, two of the greatest works of art that's ever been done throughout any of the ages. Raphael um, was also a great artist who, you know, paid, did a lot of Madonna paintings that are still considered to be, you know, great works of art. And then, of course, there's Leonardo da Vinci, who has probably one of the most famous paintings of all, which is the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. What's interesting about all three of these is they all knew each other. They all lived about the same time. You know, Michelangelo actually lived the longest. He lived to be about 88 years old. So he had the longest time to be able to really develop as an artist. Um, Leonardo da Vinci lived until his, into his 60s. But it was actually Raphael who didn't live that long. He died before the age of 40. So he did not have that much time to develop as an artist to say Michelangelo or even Leonardo da Vinci, but yet he's still considered one of the greatest artists during this period. And he actually was the youngest artist of these group of these three artists, which I also find, which is really interesting. You know, Leonardo da Vinci was kind of a bit of a, um, a mentor to him. You know, uh, Michelangelo was not, you know, Michelangelo wasn't, he was known not to really like Leonardo da Vinci or Raphael. Maybe he saw them as competition. You know, we don't really know, but that's kind of what a lot of scholars think. Whereas Leonardo, you know, da Vinci, I don't know if he really saw himself as an artist as much as a scientist. You know, he didn't really, do, you know, do that many paintings. He spent a lot of time, you know, on his inventions and science. He was known during his lifetime to personally dissect like 30 different, you know, cadavers and, and, and bodies. And he would, you know, take notes of them and write them down. So he might have seen himself a little bit more as a scientist and, you know, I'm going to paint and so I can earn some money and be able to eat and live. But yet his paintings are considered some of the greatest paintings that were ever produced. The other thing that's really interesting about the Renaissance period, that if you're talking about the Renaissance, is it was really a time of rebirth. It was this time of you know, rebirth throughout Italy, throughout Europe. Um, you know, so really there was great creativity, great innovation. It was a time where, you know, things were, um, you know, people were creating things. They were, you know, they were innovating things. They were thinking about new things. They were creating new works of art. But not only that, it was, you know, in architectures and the sciences. It was in the books. It was in the learning. It was in, you know, all aspects of the culture where, you know, it's suddenly like they've woken up from this deep sleep and suddenly, you know, they want to, you know, people want to create. Life had color. You know, life was very different than it had been before. And one of the other uh, main characteristics of the Renaissance, which helped these artists, was that um, the innovation of oil paints. And because oil paints were created, it allowed the artists to have more vibrant colors than ever before. And it allowed them to render these artistic details that they weren't able to, to you know, render or to paint before they had oil colors. So that's also, we you know, one of the things that we don't really think about when we think about the Renaissance is this creation of the oil paints that came about. And so suddenly it allowed these artists to be able to really paint with lifelike quality that they were not able to paint before. The other thing was the invention of the printing press, that the printing press helped these Renaissance artists 
you know, during this era to allow them to have their work more sidely, you know, widely circulated among the people. So they became more famous, they became well known, people wanted them to do commissions for them. And they were able to earn, you know, better living than probably the artists who had gone before them because the printing press and they were able to be able to distribute things like they could not before. So, you know, all these in inventions, you know, help to make the Renaissance also this area of innovation and creativity and actually essentially help these three artists, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo da Vinci. And it helped seal them in history to become some of the greatest artists that ever lived. We have a blog that we've written about this. If you, We'll put a link below if you would like to um, check it out, why the Renaissance was such an important time for art. You know, we'd love to hear from you if you have any thoughts or any comments, and we'd love to have you subscribe to us and just let you know that we appreciate you and we appreciate you so much for listening. We know without you, this podcast would not be possible. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.